Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to Choices Life Coaching and Jennifer's Perspective. Uh, today's topic of discussion is uh, learn to applaud yourself and uh, see yourself the way that God sees you and put your oxygen mask on first, okay? So, let's begin, okay? Hope that everyone had a good night's rest and good morning, Brother Jason. And uh, hope that you're all feeling well. So, today's topic of discussion is learn to applaud yourself, okay? When we lose sight of our own value, oftentimes we will turn to the approval of other people to look for validation from a parent, a boss, a loved one. We all need encouragement and we should receive it from the people around us, but we can't let let that be our what uh, sole source of validation. We can't wait for the people around us to applaud us. Sometimes we have to applaud ourselves. So everyone that is joining me and listening today, today we are applauding ourself, okay? We can't wait for people around us to applaud us. So sometimes we have to applaud ourselves. And when life seems to be dragging us down, you have to be the one to encourage yourself and to believe in yourself. It was you know what that this was before covid-19 when i had my gym membership and i was at the gym and on the treadmill having a conversation with a woman that was next to me on the next treadmill and who had just been diagnosed with cancer and had asked me to pray for her and i said yes i'll pray for her but i have to tell you something first i looked her straight in the eyes and said you know you ought to be so proud of yourself why look at you you got up today came to the gym you could have, she could have stayed in bed and pulled the covers over her, her head and you know, but she didn't do that. Instead, she was facing a great challenge, and it was a health challenge, but she had great hope, and she had great faith, and I admired her, and I applauded her because she was reminded of her own strength and tenacity, and her whole face lit up and everything, and she had a big smile on her face, and she held her shoulders back straight, and she recognized the importance of affirming herself and giving herself the proper credit. Now, if we are all all supposed to be and we all want to live in victory if we're supposed to be living in victory our main encouragement has to be from the inside of us you understand the inside of your own self now don't be afraid to applaud yourself you may be going through some difficult situations but you have strength to make it through any challenge and any situations it's great when you have people in your life to hold you up but what happens when those people are not around you understand what happens when you have to learn to draw strength and encouragement from within inside of you that's why it is important to fill your memory box with the victories okay and all the times that you have made it through some difficult situations Fill that memory box with reminders of how God protected you and how God how you overcame obstacles in your past and how God brought you through many, many different challenges. When you rehearse over and over again all the good things that you have accomplished and then you dwell on the goodness of God and that is vital. You understand that is really important because you will have the strength to applaud yourself today and is this fuzzy or is it just me hmm. anyway you will have the strength to applaud yourself today good morning Lena. look 
Ayana, is that how you pronounce your name, Ayana? Ilanda, Ilanda, <laughs> good morning, young lady, good morning, sis. You will have the encouragement that you need to rise up and accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish. Believe in yourself and give yourself credit for a job well done. Good morning, Gideon. Okay, you have so often it is easy to see the good in other people, yet ignore the good qualities in your own self. Not that you should be egotistical or boastful, but you need to see the good in ourself and we need to see the good in ourselves and applaud even the little accomplishments that we make on a daily basis. Did you complete a project that you've been putting off? Applaud yourself. You are nice to a difficult person in your life. Applaud yourself. Applaud yourself. Are you overcoming an addiction? Applaud yourself. Applaud yourself. Are you overcoming fear and anxiety? Applaud yourself. Are you taking baby steps and doing the things that you need to do to accomplish your dream, applaud yourself, okay? Don't wait for other people to validate you. Validate yourself today. Life may not have turned out the way that you planned it, but you're still here. You understand? And you have value and P-U-R-P-O-S-E. Start looking at the positive and you will be able to move forward and accomplish your dreams, goals, and visions. Sometimes it is easy to feel overwhelmed with all the busyness in life. And if we're not careful, we'll start criticizing ourselves, thinking of all the things that we didn't do right today. Maybe you didn't work out enough. You understand? Maybe you... Maybe you burnt the rice. <laughs> you understand? We are human beings and the list can go on and on and on and on and on. As soon as you recognize those self-defeating thoughts, you have to stop yourself and begin to acknowledge all the positive things that you accomplished during the day. Okay, begin to look at what you've done correctly or what you've done right instead of all of the things that you may feel negative our feelings when we get those negative feelings and negative thoughts you have to start talking to yourself positive words, positive thoughts, okay? There is always something good that you can find out about yourself if you just look at yourself and look at the good things that is amazing and fantastic about you. You understand that we all have been given gift, talents, and abilities that God had has instilled within each and every single one of us and learn to acknowledge those good things and those good qualities about yourself. Okay, most people are their own worst critics and I say that all the time, but instead we should be our own best cheerleaders. Yay! You understand, remember, uh, what was that? Why Why am I thinking of rah, 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 fist, boom, ba? <laughs> what was that, a Bugs Bunny cartoon? <laughs> but you have to learn to be your best cheerleader. You understand, it's easy to nitpick ourselves and go around being negative. But instead of bringing up the negative, start emphasizing on the positive. Positive, be positive. Look at the positive things about yourself, okay? Maybe Maybe you didn't work out enough or maybe you took the stairs instead of the elevator. Good morning, Georgia. Maybe you didn't take that friend out to lunch. You understand? But you did encourage the security guard on your way to work and you smiled at, uh, 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 at uh, someone today. You understand? You can find something that you did right, okay? Maybe you're never actually said anything good about yourself and I'm a friendly fun type of person and I'm kind and compassionate as you begin reminding yourself of all the things that you do right it will encourage your attitude before you know it instead of being down on yourself you'll start thinking I'm pretty great I'm pretty good you understand quit focusing on the wrong things listen lighten up 
And because none of us is perfect, you know, we're flawed human beings, but God is still working on us. We are a work in progress. If you're negative toward yourself, it's not only sours, you understand, your life, but hinders your growth and you have to love yourself for who you are because if you don't love yourself properly, you can't love others properly. Does that, d does that make sense? It has to start from within. Within you, learn to love yourself, okay? That source of strength has to come from within, okay? You can't expect other people to validate you all the time and you have to know that God validates you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And you have to learn to validate yourself because you are with you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Okay. Always, always remember that you are precious. You are God's masterpiece. You are an original. You are one of a kind, okay? And I heard of a story of a lady by the name of Carol. She was bright, talented, and a very lovely young woman who experienced the pain of a broken relationship many years ago, okay? So over the years, she was healing and growing stronger. However, a single as a single woman, she found Valentine's Day to be the hardest day of the year. And I can, I can say, okay, I agree with that because for single women and on Valentine's Day, when Valentine's Day rolled around, some people can actually get a little depressed. But Carol did something extraordinary, okay? And it was just a simple act of kindness towards herself. It reminded her of her deep loneliness, and she found that she was, you know, Valentine's Day reminded her of her deep loneliness, and she would find herself in tears every year, longing to be L-O-V-E-D. But one year, she des decided that she wasn't going to allow herself to fall into that cycle again, and Carol decided that if there wasn't anyone to buy her roses, she would buy them for herself. So she bought herself some flowers, okay? The night before Valentine's Valentine's Day, she went to the store, and since she couldn't decide between the pink and the red roses, she bought a dozen roses of each, and she carefully displayed them in a vase on her desk at work, and the next day at the office, the office was buzzing, you know, office gossip when you send flowers to yourself and everything, people sent who sent you these gorgeous flowers? Oh my God, these flowers are very pretty. You understand? And basically everyone would, she felt really special. And Carol replied with a smile for the first time. She truly saw herself as special and the people around her did too. That simple investment in herself filled a void that that, that she had for many, many years, and it had consumed her with this loneliness because she was single, she wasn't dating, and I used to feel like that, and I get like that sometimes, but like, like, okay, like the feeling will come, and then I'm like, okay, get off the pity pot and keep it moving, okay? Stop looking around and stop looking outward and expecting others to meet the need for validation and start showing love to yourself, okay? Start showing L-O-V-E to who? Why owe you? Okay? And it's funny how something as simple as flowers can make you feel so esteemed at any age. And for most women, women love flowers. But if you're going to wait for someone else to give you flowers, go to the supermarket, go to the flower shop and get your own flowers. Okay? Now, I can remember being when in the sixth grade and doing something similar like 
<laughs> remember when you're in school and they, they, it's like Valentine's Day and you have to give like a Valentine to somebody and nobody didn't give me a Valentine so I gave myself my own Valentine and you have to be able to learn to love yourself, be comfortable with loving yourself, and learn to accept who you are. Now, I found that the way to treat ourselves set the example for how others will treat us. If you are constantly down on yourself, you will draw people into that life who treat you the same way. Now, you can't do that. You understand? You have to get Get away from negativity, negative people, and learn to be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be your best cheerleader. Have some self-awareness, some self-respect, some self-love, some self-compassion. You understand? And don't try. I specialize in shame resistance. That is my coaching niche. Same, re same resist, shame resistance, clarity courage and confidence and you it I didn't have anybody to encourage me so I had to encourage myself okay you have to learn to be good to yourself good morning William on the other hand when you invest in yourself and you see yourself as valuable the way that God sees you then others will recognize your worth as well I spent years investing in my own education my own self growth my own personal growth my own self healing my own self like mentally, emotionally, physically. You understand? I took that time to invest in me. I couldn't sit around and wait for my ex to do it or anybody else to do it. So guess what? I had to do it for myself. So if you have ever flown on a commercial airplane, then you've heard the flight attendant with the instructions informing passengers about the airplane exits, like sit this way and the exits are this way and do, 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 do. You ever seen that? Emergency, when they're giving you the emergency instructions, like the lighting, the flotation devices, and the oxygen masks that fall from above, you understand your head in the cabins and then they say well then the flight attendant says well the flight attendant will say something like please place the ox oxygen mask over your nose and mouth before assisting children and those around you the truth plays out off the truth plays out off the airplane as well. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of ourselves. And I heard someone say that you have to show up for yourself before you can show up for anybody else. And think about it. If you're empty, how will you have anything else to give to anybody? If you are constantly giving and never replenishing, you will be left drained. Okay? So, I think that's why this pandemic is like really important because this is a time to replenish ourselves and replenish each other. Well, basically, this is a time to really just replenish yourself, okay? We are God's creation, and we have a responsibility to keep ourselves at our best. God never planned for us to live stressed out or overbooked or overworked. God created the world and all that is in it, and then we took the day off. Well, then God took the day off. He created everything in the world in six days, in seven days. And then on the seventh day, he rested. That was his day off. Okay, when is the last time that you took time off and took some time just to recharge yourself or your batteries or your own energy? If you're like me and... You make a to-do list, run, you, if you have children, you run them to their 
activities and what soccer baseball football games and you stop at the grocery store you have to finish the project you got to come home you got to cook dinner after work then you got to get the kids ready for school for the next day i do the laundry iron the clothing you understand or do the dishes we rush here and there taking care of all of the things that matter most family jobs friends church oh yes and did did you forget to put yourself on the list? Most mothers do. Most parents do. Yes, it is true. Most parents put themselves last because we put everything and everybody else first. Do you need to move yourself up to the top of the list like priority? <laughs> Most of us try to take care of everyone but ourself and but I found that I'm unable to give myself the best if I don't have the best to give. I have a friend who has a great husband and three beautiful children. She's a good wife, she's a good mother, but she told me that she feels so guilty when she goes and gets her nails done. She feels like she had to rush when she's taking time to get a hair done and get it colored and get a cut and everything I list I sit and I listen to her at the salon tapping her feet nervously just counting the minutes counting the minutes I can't seem to relax I feel like I don't have time to take care of myself because there is so much that needs to be done I feel like that you feel like that it's funny because I'm sure that the only time that she f doesn't feel guilty is when she's doing something or something for her family but the truth is is that her family probably wants her to take time for herself so that she can be the best for them don't fall into the trap of putting yourself last on the list and not putting yourself even on the list that happens that happens a lot and we have to remember that that means that you have to do things to relax play, play golf, play basketball, play backgammon, uh, play bid whist, uh, read a book, take a bubble bath, go to the spa, go to the salon, take a walk. You understand? Soak in a bathtub with some bubbles and get a glass of wine. Hmm. And just sit and just chill. You understand? Take time for yourself. Now, sometimes just taking a walk in the park or just looking at the birds or taking some fresh air is enough to rejuvenate us. But maybe you need to kick back under a tree and enjoy an ice cream cone. Fat free, of course, and whatever it is that refreshes you or refocuses you, you will be a good investment in your own time. Does that make sense? Investing in yourself also means investing in your personal growth. Maybe you need to join a gym or get back into shape or invest into some teaching tools like CDs or uh, leadership material or coaching classes or get a coach and maybe you need to do some you know, it's going to cost money because that's life. You understand? If you invest in yourself, it is going to cost something, 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 something. So aren't you worth it? I know that I am, and sure, it can cost some money, but you're worth it, and the return will far outweigh the investment. You might be surprised at how few small deposits into yourself can pay off in a big way. The important thing is, is that you take the time for yourself, and you will enjoy it, okay? If you had an expensive family heirloom, you would take care of it, yeah. We all would because it is a family heirloom that has been passed down from generation to generation to generation. You wouldn't mistreat it, would you? No. Let it get 
you wouldn't let it get beat up. You wouldn't want it, somebody to touch it and to play with it and all that other kind of stuff. You would protect it, okay? You are valuable too, so take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, okay? And I read a story about a man who lived in a tiny apartment and who died in extreme poverty. At some point in his life, he had been homeless, living on the streets. This man never had any successes to speak of, nor any note of victories. He lived and died as just as another face in the crowd. After the funeral, some family members went to his little rundown apartment to clear out his belongings. They found a painting hanging on the wall, so they decided to sell it at a garage sale. The woman who bought the picture took it to the local art gallery for an, an appraisal and was shocked to discover that the painting was extremely valuable. The piece of art that hung for so many years, like this one, <laughs> hoping, nah, who knows, <laughs> anyway, the piece of heart, art that hung for so many years in a little rundown apartment had been painted by a famous artist who lived in the eight, early 1800s and the woman decided to auction off the painting and ending up selling that painting for several million dollars, okay, it could have been a Van Gogh, it could have been a Picasso, it could have been a Botticelli, just think of how that poor man's life might have changed if he had known the value of what it was that he possessed. He was a multi-millionaire and didn't even know it, okay? So many people today are living like priceless treasures, priceless treasures inside and they don't know they don't know it they don't know their own value they don't know their own self-worth and sometimes we have to appraise what's on the inside a p p r a i s e appraisal it's an appraisal Sometimes we have to do that. Don't settle for living in mediocrity. Medi mediocrity? <laughs> Why can't I speak today? Mediocrity existence or a mediocre existence. You have a masterpiece created by the most famous artist of all time. You are the masterpiece created by the fame, the most famous artist of all time. And guess who that is? G-O-D, God himself has created you. Now, that artist, he knows everything about you because he created you. And we have to start thinking that way. We have to start thinking that I am valuable. I am worth it. You understand? I'm just, you can't be just average, and I'm not that talented, I'm not that beautiful, I'm not that famous, I'm not this. The list can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Don't allow those negative thoughts to play in your memory box. Instead, every morning when you wake up, get out of bed and remind yourself that I am important. You understand? And I am the handpicked by God and I am a person of extreme value and significance. You are God's own masterpiece. That means that you're not an ordinary person, you're not average, and you are a one-of-a-kind original. When God created you, he went to great lengths to make you exactly the way that he wanted you to be. You're not meant to be like anyone else on the planet. You're not. God designed you the way that you are for a purpose, okay? Everything about you is unique and everything about you matters. As you see yourself as an original, when you understand your value, not only who you are, but also whose you are, then you will love yourself more and you will love those people that are around you in a greater way and you will love 
you. You will love yourself, okay? Realize today that because you belong to him, you understand that you are extremely valuable. When you respect yourself, you are honoring God, okay? After I found that card that I'd written to my parents like many, many years ago, I started wondering if if like, I, I remember I had given my father, and my father's been deceased now for, what, over 20-something years? Do you know that I still have that birthday card that I had given my father while he was living? I had given that birthday card to my father before I even met my husband and me and my ex-husband I've known him now for almost what 30 years and I still have that birthday card that I had given it given to him why because I loved my daddy and it's valuable to me and he was valuable to me so we have to learn to treasure our self and our the things that God has given us when you look at your life you have to remember that God doesn't make mistakes and that you may never know all the lives that you are silently touching you are silently impacting somebody's life you understand? You don't have to be on stage or in front of a large crowd to make a difference. You are making a difference by living your best life and living life to the best of your ability. Have you ever been around the kind of people whose very presence give you encouragement, it motivates you, and it makes you want to do better, be better, rise up a little higher? You understand? When Jesus walked on this earth, he had the sort of effect on people. I have my own heroes, and... They make me want to do better and be better and live my best life now. And we have to learn that it was because that God really, truly, truly, truly loves us as an individual. You understand? We have to get to that point where we... We're not at that superstar quality as yet, <laughs> but you have to think of yourself as a superstar, okay? Have you ever been around when Jesus, can you imagine just being around Jesus when he walked on earth and he had that effect on people? It wasn't because of his superstar quality or position or prestige. It was because he truly loved people and he had compassion for them, depositing seeds of life and inspiration wherever he went. You never heard Jesus condemn one person. You never heard Jesus criticize anybody. And you never heard Jesus criticize himself either. So you too can have a positive influence in the lives of people that are around you, in your family, your friends, and all those that you encounter, even if it's just for a passing moment, okay? And on that note, we'll end it there today, and just think that how precious that you are. You understand? Right now, it's a pandemic season, and people want to date, but you can't date. Why? You're going to do a virtual dating and you're going to date via Zoom or something like that. Right now, people have to get tested for everything. <laughs> because this is an invisible thing that we're fighting. We are fighting a invisible virus v-i-r-u-s and we are fighting things in the spirit realm in the physical realm but our number one priority is to be safe be safe. Take care of yourself. You understand? Invest in yourself. And when you get a chance, 
learn to respect yourself and honor yourself a little bit more. You understand we all have a choice and that choice is we can be our own best friends or we can be our own worst enemies. So don't be an enemy to yourself. Be a friend to yourself, okay? And I'll be moving in a couple of months. So now, whew, I got to get myself together. I have so many things to do, like so many things to do. And this pandemic is going to last for another two years. And then here comes the other thing. <laughs> then the second wave of the pandemic is going to come. So I'm saying to myself, like, what do I do? Like, if not now, when? And... <sighs> I have to get myself together and put all the pieces together. Yesterday, I just want to give a big shout out to my neighbor <laughs> because this is what happened, right? Uh, the, my, this is my neighborhood. I really like like my neighbors. They're really cool. They're really nice people. And uh, I finally got a chance to pick up my license plates and my registration from the, from the car dealership. So I went and I didn't know how to put my license plate on because I didn't have any tools or anything like that. So my neighbor next door put my uh, license plates on. So I said that I was going to get them a beer. So finally, yesterday, I went to get the beer and I locked myself out of my apartment. <laughs> I ended up locking myself out of my apartment and like thank thank you thank you and I say thank you to them all the time because they're really awesome and my other neighbor let me use their phone and to call the landlord or the super and then they finally like let me into like I had to get them to open the door to let me into my apartment and I'm just like really 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 grateful 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 very 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 happy but I say to myself, like, I could have been, I could have responded in a different way. So I took myself and I walked myself and I went and got them, you know, got a little six pack of Heineken and I gave it to the, to the people, to the gentleman, what's his name, Matthew, that had put my license plate on my car and, uh, I guess him and his friends, they're, I guess their family or whatever, but I don't know. I think they're related. Anyway, anyway, they were really nice. And then it was nice to see that uh, one of them had brought their son to work with them, you know, and he's like, okay, teaching in the family business and everything. And I thought that was really cool. He was a very handsome young man, really nice, very polite. And they were really nice people. And I'm saying to myself, you and like, this, just put a smile on somebody's face. Respect you, respect yourself, respect other people, and be kind. Like, this is not the time to be imploding, and now I have to get myself together and get ready to relocate. Yes, I'm coming Atlanta. I'm coming. I'm coming to Atlanta and I'll be relocating, God willing, <sighs> in a couple of months. So now I have some things to do so I won't be on every day like I used to be because I have a lot of things that I have to take care of and uh, love each and every single one of you. I'll be in Atlanta on the 20th of this month for three days, have some stuff that I have to do so I'll be back and forth, back and forth and everything. But... Uh, Please keep me in your prayers, okay, and keep my business 
Choices Life Coaching and Jennifer's Perspective in Your Prayers. And hope that everyone just be good to yourself and be kind to yourself and be the best that you can be and learn to applaud yourself today okay love each and every single one of you love my family love my city love my friends and uh oh yeah and i'm redesigning my website uh so that's something else too anyway um what else is there? I think that's it. Love my city, love my state, love my family, love this planet, love humanity, and yay to Camilla Harris. What? Her and Joe Biden is now on the ticket for uh, president and vice president. Yes. Let me tell you something. That, that is an amazing woman. She's smart and she's brilliant. Joe Biden, really nice. <laughs> and I'm glad that he was Obama's vice president. And now he is running for president. And Camilla Harris, come on, sis. Give the lady a hand, everybody. She is awesome. Congratulations. Don't forget to vote, people. Every vote counts, okay? And and if we want things to change, we have to be the change and we have to participate in that change. Okay, so uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, be good, be kind, love one another, respect yourself, respect other people. And hey, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Okay. Mm, love each and every one of you. Hi, Klaus. Have a good day, hon. Ooh. <laughs>